Morning, morning. I've just been on BBC Radio Leeds, who very kindly had me on to talk about AI. Um, I didn't know how long I was going to have, and it was quite short, but thank you so much to everyone who messaged and said I came across well. That really means a lot to me. Live radio is scary. Um, but yeah, there was. I mainly did end up talking about, I'm glad I got the main point across, which was about uh, the copyright aspect and how there's no ethical way to engage with AI because it's scraped from millions and millions of people's uh, artwork, which they cannot opt into. Um, it's copywritten, so it's technically illegal to scrape this, and these systems were trained illegally, and there's a gap in the law. But the other thing I really wanted to say, which I didn't get time to, was that, one, it doesn't just affect artists. This isn't us just being anti-tech. We actually use tech all the time in our work. We're very up-to-date, and we're very... Um, knowledgeable about this stuff like I use Photoshop I use like iPads procreate like um we code we build our own websites we're constantly using tech so it's not a case that we're like anti-progress it's the fact that in these current forms AI is unethical there is no way to engage with it ethically and that needs to be amended ASAP and secondly this doesn't just affect artists this isn't us just um complaining and this isn't us um you know trying to say that we're different from anyone else anyone's job that can be automated can and will and is being affected it will affect journalists academics receptionists paralegals call centers and i think you really have to think about what kind of world you want to live in do you want to live in a world where you never speak to a human on a phone, where you never speak to a human over email, where your teachers, your academics are just a computer that you interact with and not a human? Um, and yes, yeah, so much has happened just this week in AI news, like Dr. Hinton, the godfather of AI, has quit Google so that he can speak freely about this. Um, definitely read up on that because it's frankly terrifying. Um, and something I wasn't aware of, which I was informed about yesterday, was that ChatGPT was only made palatable and sanitized by the incredibly underpaid and overworked uh, labor by tons of people across African countries working for ChatGPT, Facebook AI, TikTok AI, um, who were made to wade through these disgusting, abusive images online and remove all the toxic content to make GP, chat GPT palatable. And these people have no mental health support. They're just left with their PTSD and they're paid under $2 an hour. And that's like disgraceful. It's disgusting. It's human rights abuses, all of those things. Um, and they just unionized this week in Nairobi, 150 workers. And this is gonna be like a huge turning point. So yeah, there's obviously super problematic things um, about workers' rights, about back to illustration, how it scrapes our work, doesn't um, give us, the, like we can't consent and it also um, is profiting off the backs of millions of people's labour, all of our, our labour. Um, and yeah, it's a lot to think about, it's a lot to take in. If you're just learning about this for the first time, don't feel bad about it. It's very, very new. This stuff is only in the last few months kind of exploding. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. And I just hope things change. Like, the last 13 years have been <laughs> extremely difficult. I started my career in 2010, 2011 in the recession. I'm in my second recession and gone through a pandemic you know, gone through austerity measures like my entire uh, career and it's been it's been really hard and art is always the first on shopping block. We're always the first to go. But I need people who aren't in art and aren't seeing themselves visibly having their jobs taken away to stand with us now, to speak up with us now because it is coming for other jobs. It is and we need to we need to get those laws in place. We need to think about what kind of world we want to be living in. I want to think about what makes us human, like stories and art are what underpins so much of our society, despite us being undervalued, despite us being underpaid. Um, 
and yeah, I just think about what kind of world do you want to live in? I want to live in a world where we can encourage our children to be artists or we can encourage anyone to be a storyteller because we all are. And you look around you, if there wasn't artists, there wouldn't be films, there wouldn't be uh, anything, anything at all. Everything would be very, very bland. And um, yeah, I think that's something we need to think about, our humanity. Thank you.